changing people's lives for the better because we're actually putting them on the route to great careers. It is you who are actually changing the lives of very talented young musicians who will be our great artists of tomorrow. It's a highlight of a year to come to England to, yeah, yeah. to be we, in, we are always in Lake District. <laughs> yeah. 14.5 million people come to the Lake District. Uh, Lake District Summer Music is in a really unique place to speak to some very important uh, segments of the population. In 1985, I never dreamed that 28 years later we'd still be here. The economic impact of what we do has been estimated at £1.8 million. I'm Rena Kellaway and I started Lake District Summer Music in 1985. It combines an international festival with an academy for training young musicians on the brink of careers. I was determined, having found this beautiful place in Cumbria, we had to become part of Cumbria, part of its cultural heritage, which is very rich with poets and painters. But somehow music needed to be added. We have established ourselves as a major festival, chamber music festival, essentially presenting great world artists who would not come to this area if it was not for the festival program and the invitations we give them. a variety of concerts throughout the festival in Cumbria. So we had 84 musicians from over 20 countries attending our summer school. We had over 300 musicians performing in the festival. Over 6,000 members of the public attending our festival events. The festival stands between Manchester and Edinburgh in the northwest as the only summer music festival there is of this international quality. It has a special, unique atmosphere here, the beauty of the terrain. We have world premieres or first performances in the United Kingdom. We do have composers coming to do pre-concert talks. There are programmes that are carefully structured to make musical sense. Well, Lake District Summer Music reaches 17 different venues across 12, 13 different locations each year. We're stretching from Kirby Lonsdale up to Keswick, from Ulverston across to this centre point around Windermere and Ambleside where our Summer Music Academy is based. We do have world artists here and we ask them to collaborate with each other which is very important. It gives them an opportunity to play works, whether a quartet expands to being a sextet, septet, or quintet, and they play with other artists they haven't met before, so maybe they're making a new collaboration which is going to last and pay them dividends in the future. And we do try and find those exceptional bits of interest which will bring in people trying something probably for the first time. I think the intense two weeks for me, uh, I improve the most in these two weeks than I do <laughs> the rest of the year. Coming to a festival like this and getting such a high standard of coaching is really, really, really helpful. The, the amount of work that is done here is really serious. At the same time, it's very positive, it's very inspirational. And I think that anybody who comes here is uh, benefits so much from this experience. Oh, when I was in love with you, then I was clean and brave. I'm Susie Summers, and I work as an accompanist at LDSM. I'm also a trustee of the Stephen Bell Charitable Trust, and the trust supports the work of LDSM. I play the piano for the students in their lessons and in recitals, and during the time I work with them here, I see an enormous development in them as musicians. At LDSM, we're really able to work on a deeper level than we can during the year. And some of the students I've worked with in music colleges, and I've seen just a different level of development when they're here at LDSM. They can get away from the goal-orientated and exam-driven kind of practice that they normally have to do, and enjoy a much more wide-ranging, um, a more broad approach to music making. To be able to like 
go to see so many concerts and mm. be able to work with the people who are doing the concerts as well. It's, it's great to, to, to have a lessons with uh, professors like Julian Gurian Quartet and Professor Garfield Jackson and it's really wonderful to see how they play in the concerts as well and to uh, play w next to them in uh, in some performances like, like this one uh, today. So the people that are coaching you are the people that you're hearing the night before in yeah. the concert. So mm -hmm. there's a real connection there. Of kind of, it's very relevant. The students enjoy seeing the professionals performing together and exchanging ideas and growing themselves and I think that really feeds into the development of the students. The Lake District offers such a beautiful, tranquil location and when we're here we often go out for walks, we uh, have even been known to swim in rivers sometimes and all of that just takes you away from the city and the normal bustle of everyday life, which I think sometimes gets in the way of music making. It's great to have the space here so that we can just be creative. I'm Tim Brown and I'm Vice Chairman of the Lake District Summer Music patrons. This year, for example, we're helping 15 students, not just from Britain, but from overseas, Belarus, Australia, all over, two quartets. We help them because this is not just a series of concerts, it's a school. Our artists train these students who hope to and aspire to the same standards that they have. It's been really wonderful to see some of the students develop over the many years that I've worked here. Some of them return again and again and each year you can see the seeds of what we built on in the past really coming to fruition. Lake Summer Music brings a terrific contribution to the local economy. We have Young String Venture, which we started in 1987, and we started children's workshops for ages 6 to 17. It did encourage local children to come and attend and have a violin or cello or whatever, and they are put together in also in little groups and an orchestra, and they have a wonderful time. Families now register their children, and the families spend their holidays here, so they take cottages or caravans or camp, while their children are absorbed in the morning classes of a young string venture. Lake District Summer Music is a great generator of tourism. The economic impact of what we do has been estimated at £1.8 million by the British Arts Festivals Association. We work very closely with the tourism agencies here to really use culture as a means to drive uh, attendance here. And that investment is going back into local people, it's going back into local companies. So when I talk about economic contribution to the local economy, all that's going on, of course, those families add to the visitors. They're spending money on other attractions in the area. And our students are. Students are making friends here. <laughs> Our whole aim is that the sponsor gets as much out of Lake District Summer Music knowing that you're doing a fantastic job and at the same time have your guests in a very unique situation. We have wonderful venues, we have a range of music, we can find the right location, we can put together the right package of tickets and hospitality and publicity that really ensures that a sponsor gets the message across to the audience that they want to. We help them to market it and their name will be on all our publicity which goes out. As we do Festival of Blancs, well that's 80,000 going out and the Festival Diary that's another 80,000. We can work very closely with each sponsor to make sure that we provide them with exactly what they need. We'll find the right product for them to ensure that they get the return on their investment. If you want something special, you can take all your guests on a Lakeland steamer in over Windermere, and of course you can put a young artist on a ship like that, and you can be entertained while you're traveling around the lake, which is quite spectacular. That is very exceptional. You can bring all the guests you want. They can be hosted at a rather nice party with wonderful, unique entertainment in the form of very good music. We not only have classical music, we do jazz, and blues, we've had brass bands, opera. We bring in Indian music. We bring in music from Mexico. La, la, la. 
There's a lighter music. There are many, many interesting extras that we can put you in touch with up here, such as the Wordsworth Trust and the Wordsworth Cottage. Beatrix Potter, she looms large the other side of the lake. So you can always go climbing. If people want to walk the fells or see the sheep trials that are on, they're fascinating extras that we can make sure you are fully aware of and can use. The Lake District Summer Music Festival would not be able to even have its first day without the sponsors who are really generously and positively giving money to, to help to subsidize this experience. We support LDSM because we feel it offers a unique mix of qualities. The atmosphere and the beauty of the location enables students really to unwind and to learn on a more deep level. The exciting range of professors and teachers who come from all around the world offer such a variety of input to the students while they're here. And the opportunity to see those professors perform and sometimes to perform with them in ensembles really offers something that can't be found in the normal music college life throughout the year. We do believe that music changes lives. It brings people together and it brings communities together. Just to come here and have the warmth of the hospitality in Cumbria, once you put the stone in the pool, so to speak, the ripples are going to continue to go out.